The Phoenix Ghost Tactical Unmanned Aerial System, which was first heard in US President Joe Biden's $800 million weapons package to Ukraine, is a matter of curiosity. The Pentagon release on the composition of the military assistance package to Ukraine includes 70 to 155 mm howitzers with 144,000 artillery shells, 70 to tactical howitzer towing vehicles, more than 121 Phoenix Coast tactical unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, equipment and spare parts. Pentagon spokesperson John Kirby said that Phoenix Coast unmanned aerial vehicles which will be given to the Ukrainian army, have been developed to meet the needs of Ukraine before the Russia-Ukraine war. The Pentagon spokesperson's statement said the US Air Force rapidly developed this weapon system for Ukraine's special needs. Kilby said, the Phoenix Ghost system was obviously under development before the invasion. He said that the new drone has similar characteristics to the switchblade drone and provides the same tactical options. He said there are differences in the scope of Phoenix Ghost capabilities, but he is not authorized to talk about them in detail. Kilby also said the control systems are simple, so there is minimal training for experienced UAV operators. Switchblade 300 drones are equipped with an anti-tank warhead designed to destroy or disable armored vehicles. They can fly 10 kilometers and stay in the air for 15 minutes before an attack. The operator uses a tablet fire control system and can control the missile manually. The newer Switchblade 600 can fly 40 kilometers and remain in the air for 40 minutes. Frontier India's editor-in-chief, Joseph P. Chako suspects the Phoenix Ghost is an Aerovironment Jump 20 attached with a Switchblade 300 drone. In August 2021, Aerovironment demonstrated integrating Switchblade 300 lottering munition on its Jump 20 medium UAV as a part of air-launched FX proof of concept. An inert Switchblade 300 was launched on Jump 20, and both were recovered after the launch. The Switchblade 300 tube launch system was mated with the existing Jump 20 platform's vertical lift boom with a custom-made bolt-on mount and firing mechanism. During the flight, Switchblade 300 was remotely fired using the Jump 20 ground control. The in-flight control was taken over by a separate Switchblade ground element. This proved Switchblade 300's air launch from a Jump 20 Group 3 vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, platform. With integration to Jump 20 VTOL, Switchblade 300 gets a 14-hour endurance compared to 15 minutes if launched on its own. The company's sensor-to-shooter software allows instant transfer of target coordinates from Jump 20 to Switchblade 300 lottering missile systems. The solution gives Switchblade a larger time on station and logically a larger lottering, surveillance and identification time. The link to the article is given in the description. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. It means the world to us.